In July 2008, the actual field measurements began for the Kyrgyz National Forestry Inventory. Tian Shan is wild and beautiful, but working in these virgin forests is very difficult. Seven inventory teams went to a field to establish contact with local people and initiate field data collection. Access is not always possible by car, so horses are needed, or good boots. The field teams visited all types of landscape, including woody areas high in the mountains and grazing lands. This work continued in all parts of the country until late 2009. In October 2009 and during 2010, the FAO provided training in data processing and analysis. Almost 
So if I divide this many cubic meters, but with how many hectares they were measured in, divided by 300. At the end of 2010, the National Forest Inventory of Kyrgyzstan showed satisfactory results, which were announced at the final seminar and during a press conference. The assessment shows that forests and shrubs cover 5.5% of the country. The forest areas have been identified, and now their boundaries and ownership should be defined to resolve who will manage them. The Integrated National Resources Assessment was carried out over the last two years and assessed not only the forest area, but also its quality and species composition. The inventory was not carried out by the traditional Soviet method previously used, but with new methods provided and developed by the FAO for national-level, multi-purpose and integrated national resources assessments and monitoring. The next time the inventory is carried out, we will be able to evaluate to what extent the forest area of Kyrgyzstan is increasing or diminishing. Kyrgyzstan is the first country in Central Asia to have implemented this process and can now show the way forward for other countries in the region. During this process, a lot of other data and information was collected, which will eventually be evaluated with the aim of helping sustainable development in this beautiful country. <laughs> Thank you.